Okay, so a brand new series for the channel, and we call this series Undefeated in UFC 4. Very excited to be playing UFC 4, and I cannot wait to get this series started, and we start things off with the notorious Conor McGregor. So how does this series work? Well, what we're going to be doing is we will use Conor McGregor and his objective is to get through the entire lightweight division undefeated. If he doesn't, we'll move on to another fighter and see how they get on. But my hope is that Conor McGregor can at least go pretty far and who, if anyone, can stop him. As we get a look at the first fighter to step up to the notorious Conor McGregor, an old foe, the underground king, Eddie Alvarez. Of course, these two met in the UFC, and it was Conor McGregor who came out on top with a second round TKO. Will history repeat itself? I hope so, for the sake of this series. And there is McGregor. A little bit older, hopefully a little bit more wiser now, as he makes his way towards the octagon. And in terms of the setup for the game, well, both CPUs are set to legendary, and it will be CPU versus CPU. So I'm coming along with you guys for the ride. It's going to be an emotional roller coaster because I would not want this to end on just one episode, but it could happen. As Conor McGregor salutes the fans who sound like they're firmly behind him in Madison Square Garden. An historic venue for hopefully an historic series. There is the swag of McGregor. And here is the tail of the tape. Similar age, similar height, similar weight. And McGregor with an important reach advantage. And we are off. Round one underway. And you'll see in the bottom corner a note on which round we are in as we take the best moments from each round. If we make it that far. And McGregor with a nice leg kick. Alvarez will hopefully want to do it one step better than what he did before against McGregor. Didn't do too well at all. Knee to the gut by McGregor. Will it be a strong start or will this series come toppling down? Could happen. Nice shots from McGregor. In the opening stage of this fight. Oh, but Alvarez looking for a takedown and McGregor quick to stop that. And now McGregor stepping forward. Just under two minutes now of the first round. And Alvarez holding his own, willing to exchange with notably one of the best strikers to ever do it in Conor McGregor. Oh, and as I say that, beautiful roundhouse kick from McGregor. Stunned Alvarez momentarily. Oh, and again, Alvarez looks for the takedown, doesn't get it. Instead goes for a kick and we hear the sound of the countdown, 10 seconds, and that's the round. No one knocked out in the first round. So Alvarez, oh, that was a nice shot from Alvarez, stunned McGregor. McGregor mistimed that kick. A fair few swellings around the face. Of the notorious round two here we go oh oh no stiff shot mcgregor's got to duck and dive and stay out the way of those strikes from alvarez a oh, nice leg kick he utilized that in the real fight now beginning to utilize it here in this series nice uppercut stunned alvarez oh oh no McGregor will knock down momentarily. Nice kick, nice response. Head kick from Connor. But this, this is very, very nerve-wracking. 
particularly for an opening of a series. Oh, McGregor, nice uppercut again and getting the better of Alvarez. If he caught him with the kick in the follow-up, I think that would have been good night. But not yet. Uppercut again. Stunned him again. Dropped him this time. Drops him again. And McGregor has a chance to end the fight. Ground and pound. Uh, not, not that great. That was a disappointing ground and pound from McGregor. I thought he should have put him away there, to be honest. Oh, shocked him. This time, surely, surely the referee has to step in. Call this one. No, Alvarez stays in it. But it is round two again. A troublesome round for Eddie Alvarez. Oh, and he can't hold on. With nine seconds on the clock to go of the second round, the notorious one does it again. That was an emphatic knockout and a statement to the lightweight division. Check this out. Boom! Right on the jaw. Oh, good night. Eddie Alvarez gave it a good second attempt, but still cannot get the job done against Connor. And McGregor marches on for a second fight in this series. Let's hand it over to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 51 seconds of round number two. Between the winner by knockout, the no Confirmed in style by The Voice, Bruce Buffer. Conor McGregor chalks up a one in the win column. And however many wins Conor picks up will go onto a leaderboard. And when we move on to a next fighter, can they do any better? We'll have to wait and see. And just to give you guys a look at the round stats, see how things played out. But who's next? Well, next up for the Notorious is Edson Jr. Barboza. These two have never met before. As we see the details of the fighters, Barboza, 34, older than McGregor, slightly taller, same weight, and a better reach. So McGregor, it's not too much, but it could be enough. And Barboza, as we hit off in round one, is a kicker and McGregor will have to be aware of that if Barboza gets comfortable but a good start from McGregor coming forward and immediately establishing the middle of the octagon trying to push forward but a knee from Barboza oh and that's the kick that I was talking about and that has sent McGregor well, McGregor on the retreat and replies with a kick to the midsection, but that was a warning from Barboza and McGregor replies. Nice response from the Notorious. He needed that. Approaching a minute to go of the first round and it hasn't gone too well for McGregor. Oh, nearly caught Barboza there, but... Nice block from Barboza. Oh, and a firm kick to the midsection by Barboza, then just punch the air. McGregor able to sidestep. Missed the kick as well. Counting down. Last few seconds, and well, both fighters punching air, but oh, McGregor got every bit of that kick. Let's go, round two. And this is a notorious round for Conor McGregor. Put away Eddie Alvarez in the first fight and puts down Edson Barboza. Barboza back up and an exchange between the two. And oh, tagged Conor with that elbow and forcing Conor back. And Conor is having to defend at the moment. Nicely done from McGregor. 
A good block from that leg kick. Again, Connor blocking the leg kick once more. And a leg kick from McGregor this time. Oh, and a kick to the body. And down goes Barboza once again. But then Barboza says, well, you kick me. I'm going to kick you. This is close. And just under a minute to go of round two. And Alvarez was knocked out with nine seconds to go of the second round. So Barboza must stay alert. McGregor coming forward. Thinking about it, taking his time. And that's why. Puts down Barboza again. But 10 seconds to go of round two. And McGregor went for a huge shot. Got nothing. And Barboza survives. Well, he did a bit more than just survive. He's in this fight. Let's not take it away from Barboza. Round three. Fight two. Can McGregor march on once again? He puts down Barboza again. But it's not... It's not convincing. Let's put it that way. Oh, that was... That kick caught Barboza right in the mush. And maybe now Connor building some confidence in round three. Bit more of a thoughtful approach from Connor. Oh, and as I say that, he gets his leg kicked away by Barboza. Hmm, this one is a bit of a chess match between the two. Picking their moments just like that. Barboza timed it and then caught Connor with the body shot. And McGregor having to try and figure out Barboza. It's been difficult. He has put down Barboza a fair few times. As we get to 10 seconds of round three. Well, McGregor with a couple of shots, maybe even after the round. Frustration being shown by the Notorious at the end of round three. He also has the war wounds to prove that Barboza is still in this fight. Oh, but Barboza goes down at the start of round four and Conor McGregor with a blistering start. McGregor needs to utilize the ground and pound which failed him against Alvarez. He let Alvarez off the hook and uh, looks like he's gonna do it again. McGregor decides, well, decides to get up. Oh, but then tags the leg for a second time. Is Barboza beginning to fade? He's taken four rounds. But McGregor might be finding the cracks. Or kick to the arse from Barboza and well that has Conor McGregor in trouble. I'm not joking. McGregor was on the retreat after he took that kick to the arse. Oh stiff knee. Couple of them from Barboza. And I thought Conor had the measure of Barboza in round four, but. I don't know, he's, he's still hanging in there. In fact, he caught Connor. Retreat, Connor. Hold on, a minute to go. And McGregor does hold on. Can't quite believe I'm saying that because I thought Connor was going to dominate that round the way it started, but then Barboza pulled it back. So, 
we go to the final fifth round and Barboza again hits the ground and Connor begins to pound but that ground and pound game and that wrapping up from McGregor after he puts down his opponent he's just not there in fact Barboza even though he's on the bottom seems to be able to easily manoeuvre McGregor around and they're back up again is this going to go the distance? Well, Connor giving himself a chance here to not let it go that far. He's, he's put down Barbosa many times. Oh, no. Watch out. I mean, still, oh, if, if Barbosa had hit that kick, I think it would have been over for McGregor. He was already stunned from the first kick. And, but, oh, I feel like one shot. If it connects flush, one of these two, it's over. Two minutes to go, round five, and they're on the ground. Is McGregor going to get past Edson Barboza? This has been a much more difficult task than I initially thought. And if this goes to the judges, I have to think that well, McGregor has had the better of knockdowns, but Barboza, he's been in it throughout. Last few seconds and McGregor ends the fight on his ass. Oh dear. So the highlights, round one, McGregor, oh, kick to the head. Round two, McGregor again. Strong kick to Barboza, round three. That was a beautiful body shot from Conor McGregor. And he seems to be getting the better of the highlights. Taking away the leg of Barboza. And round five. Another one. Another sweeping kick. So, Bruce Buffer, over to you. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 49-46, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the notorious Conor McGregor! He did it. He finished the fight on his ass, but he got the job done. Conor McGregor struggles his way past Edson Barboza. Barboza was tricky, but McGregor's ground and pound game simply wasn't there. It wasn't there in the first fight, and it wasn't there in the second. It requires major work, and this is one of the best finishers in the UFC. Ah, So, should we go out like that? I don't know. I'm feeling unfulfilled by that finish. Should we give Connor one more chance to redeem himself? One more fight to close the show in episode one of Undefeated? Try and make it three for three? Why not? Who's next? Well, I wouldn't consider this any easier. Let's put it that way. After seeing what Gilbert Burns did to Tyron Woodley, back in May, um, yeah, Connor has got his work cut out for him once again and he will need to bounce back and shrug off that performance against Barboza if he is to move forward in this series. As we see the stats, and the significant stat is that McGregor has a considerable better reach than Burns. Can he utilize it? Here we go. Round one, and a nice kick from McGregor. And another kick. And the question is, has McGregor been working on his finish game? And that ground and pound. One would hope so. Went for the leg kick, didn't get it. Oh, a nice knee from McGregor. And Burns comes forward, trying to use that power and strength. Used that a ton against Woodley. 
but he manhandled Woodley. Is he going to do the same to McGregor? Oh, stiff shot. And the jab, nice combination from Connor and a kick. Second kick as well. And we're approaching the end of the round. I feel that like Connor looks a bit better, but again, Burns trying to force the pressure against Connor. Connor shrugs it off. And oh, I, I didn't notice, but Burns is already cut. And maybe it was from that kick. Round two. We know that Connor likes a round two stoppage. Nice strike from McGregor. Oh, caught him. Bicycle kick. And McGregor coming forward. The pressure is on. And now, oh, is he going to let him off? He's let him off again. Connor McGregor. Oh, oh, maybe not. How much more can Burns take of this? Well, McGregor, I thought let him off, but maybe he's toying with Burns. Maybe he's making a statement in his third fight. But will that come back to haunt him? You cannot underestimate any fighter in the UFC. One strike and it could be all over. And Burns trying to get to his feet, but McGregor keeping him grounded for now. Just under two minutes to go of the round. Round two. Two good strikes again from McGregor. And you see the blood on the canvas of the octagon. That is all coming from Burns. And Burns wriggling around, but he cannot get away. And McGregor again. Oh my. He really did some damage there, did McGregor. And look at the face of Burns. Oh, rocked him again. This is a much better performance from Conor McGregor. Every time Burns has gone for a takedown, Conor has sidestepped it, stepped away from it. Oh, oh my. It's over. It's over. It's over. Wow. That's a stoppage. Put the swaggy in the baggy. It's over. Conor McGregor. And McGregor makes it three for three. That was devastating. Here's the replay. Ooh. Another look at it. Got out the way of the uppercut and then connects. One more time. Boom. The result is beyond doubt, but let's give it to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor. So on that expert knockout, let's call it there for episode one of Undefeated for Conor McGregor. Three for three, he closes the show perfectly and he will march on to more fights in the UFC in this series. So, let's see how Connor gets on in future episodes. If you are enjoying the Undefeated series, please do hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the notification bell turned on so you stay up to date with every single episode as we see the fight stats for one final time. McGregor convincing, bounces back after a bad time with Barboza. Wow, we'll see you again soon. Everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what, told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. I do roll like a Mack truck. Country heart, I'm a cup of farm and go.